It's sad that momentum is not talked about more. We hear so much talk about goals, the power of goals, and you've got to have a goal, you've got to have a target, otherwise how do you know where you're going, if you've arrived, or if you'll get there. All of that is true. But what I found in my own personal life to be even more important than goals is this power of momentum. So much so it's worth shifting things around in order to hack momentum. We have a unique skill set here, very highly creative. Think about using that creativity to purposely tip the scales in your favor using this power of momentum. Now, that's one of the principles that works so well. We always see it showing up, even though you didn't feel like it, starting the work, still not feeling like it. You keep going and eventually some momentum builds. We oftentimes overestimate the importance of goals and underestimate the importance of momentum. It is a little bit harder. We set goals. We can plan goals. We can write them down, but you can't necessarily set momentum. You can't write down momentum. You know it when it's happening. We see evidence of momentum in nature. We see it in sports. You can picture it pretty easily. Rolling a ball there has to be the spark. There has to be the initial push and then the ball rolls, especially when you're thinking of the classic snowball scenario. You've got a little snowball and it's rolling down a hill. And what is it? It's picking up momentum, adds more and more snow and the ball gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Even if you don't necessarily experience a result, finish a chapter or finish finish a book or you had a thousand word goal, let's say you only wrote a hundred words, you still developed momentum. That's why this is huge. 